Okay, so today we're doing a video about how to do a fire, right? How to start a fire. So it's raining. Usually it's not recommended that you start a fire in the rain. But there is a song like that. I start fire in the rain. Something of that sort. Anyway. So the first process is to get your wood. And you make sure that your wood is dry. Right? Make sure that the wood is dry, right? Then you make some sort of a hierarchy for your wood. So there must be this, that big strong one. You have heard it? Yeah. <coughs> this big strong one and then the small one, right? The small ones are gonna help in making sure that the fire is started. Okay? I'm gonna help in making sure that the fire is started, right? And then the big one is gonna make sure that the fire is maintained. But we didn't know. This thing, we started it, I think, hundreds of years ago. We were a bit tired of eating raw meat. So we just decided, okay, why not cook the thing, right? Usually, we use this stuff, right? Trucks, hit them like this for the whole time, right? But now, things have changed drastically. Things have changed drastically. We now use this legal invention called matches, right? So that's how you do the thing, show stop. Okay, so some basic things that you're gonna need are your plastics, right? So, we've got all the plastics here, and then we're gonna need that thing for making sure that this wind and this rain doesn't spoil our fire. Hopefully, we're able to start. I'm boring it. Yeah. Hopefully, we're able to start the thing without any problems. Usually, the fire will be protected when there's a port here, and then this thing. Okay, so let's let's start. This is a difficult task considering the conditions, the wind and so on. It's recommended that you do this inside the room, then you come out. But if you're a pro, you do it outside. Okay, do it outside, I'm trying to make the conditions more like inside right that's what you do that is what you do boom okay so the thing is on and then we move to the next part And that is making sure we light our plastic. So there is an article in this side. That is making sure that we light our plastic, then making sure this thing uh, goes boom, or bends or whatever. Right? So usually you don't do this uh, so close to your hand, right? Because this hot plastic with your skin. Uh, it's not very pleasant. Okay, so in this day and age, you seldom find situations where you have to make a fire, right? But when you have to, it's pretty much advantageous that you can when you are able to make a fire, right? So we'll keep this here, make sure the thing is... If you're cooking, by the way, you make sure that you need a tripod, right? So that your hierarchy and the building of the thing, the firewood, make sure that it's on point. Everything is on point. You know that song? Yeah, that's how the things go here. Yeah. Other than that, what else we need to know about fire, right? So you make sure your wood is dry, 
the floor that you're doing the thing is dry if it's not dry you become aggressive with your plastics right so this one this big one i've got this thing so i'm aggressive with my plastic because the conditions are wet right what is another thing that you need to know about starting a fire that is all essentially also if, you, if you're in the woods right uh, in the forest and you don't have the plastic the easiest thing to do is to take this thing grass it's fast burning as well just collect it from the what's this okay i'm gonna need to, to stop hanging this thing and focus on this fire so now so the wood is the wood is wet right that's why nothing is going on here but it got more than an excessive amount of this thing no matter how wet the wood is eventually uh, it's gonna give Oh, another thing that works well as well is petrol, paraffin, instant fire there, but those are expensive. That's pen plastic. So, if you're living in the rural areas, it means that you're gonna uh, probably start more fires than a normal person. That is what we've been doing here for years. This small stuff here is the stuff I trust will be helpful in starting the fire. You make sure that you, you do it this way and it works magic. <laughs> works magic. It's extremely wet. The wood is extremely wet. That's why the fire is not able to start. Man, I mean, I wonder. That's why it's not easy to start. Cook. I say go to fire for twenty years. I'm not even a million now. Okay, so the lady in there is talking about the next process, which is to put the pot on top of this thing. But we haven't been able to make sure that the fire is uh, properly, start, properly started to even think anything remotely relating to the pot. Right? So we're not concerned about that at the moment. We're trying to make sure that the fire gives, right? Malum! Loot! Away! I keep it loot! Matumbol. Angzwana. Oh, hey, don't leave your colors. I'll end the little guy. So, hey, bang, pay some up. Make sure you put these small things on top here. Easy to bend, make sure the fire started very well. 
I mean, this has been a pretty like old concept not to know, right? So I think maybe as kids, it's even maybe embedded in our genes to know how to start a fire. Not sure, something of that nature. Pretty cool stuff. You see? Now it's almost uh, ready, but it's not. We still gotta make sure. Maybe in the rural areas, we do this stuff for most of our lives because electricity, we only got electricity in like, I was doing grade, grade what? I was doing grade five or grade six. That's when we started having electricity here. So this has been our primary source of warmth when it's cold like this. Usually we do it inside the room, not outside. But then things have changed. We no longer have room suitable to accommodate this process. So right now we just use the stuff. So the fire started fire the fire started it's a little bit back the fire started it's burning now hey uh, just put in the pots and then make sure you put this thing this side and then that side because too much oxygen is also not very well for the fire or the combustion process it's raining so that's not good for the camera this has been it so much is with the tutorial of how to start a fire uh, probably i'll see you in the next one if this video has ended <laughs> Okay, the fire has been started now. My, I'm waiting for my brother to come and put the pot here. Here is the pot we put here. I'm just cooking the idombo. Yeah, it's called idombo. So I think putting the, the pot in here now will probably suffocate the, the fire because the thing needs to be well established first before we can put in the pot. Right. Oh. This thing is a very dangerous thing to actually uh, embark on this process of starting a fire. Many things can go wrong. You have to have the energy, the experience. <laughs> you have to have the experience uh, that goes in. You have to see a lot of people making fire. You have to have had lot of passion for making fire so that you can make a very good uh, fire <laughs> okay i think it's still not well i'm not satisfied Ever learn about the concept of acceleration? This is what acceleration looks like. Ever young born? Unavailable to Making sure that the fire is well established so that it don't go down and I put the pot in here. I think what we're cooking here is dumplings, right? It's meat uh, slaughtered here in that kraal. It has nothing to do with you. I think we're done. This was the tutorial comprehensive tutorial into how to start a fire of course this this is like 99 out of 100 level type of fire probably yours would, would be like worse than this considering we got the woods from the forest and everything is like primitive and so on so it's 99 out of 100. The wood was wet, the ground was wet. We started the fire outside, it was raining, like the conditions were against us. But we succeeded. <laughs> we <We're> done. How <laughs> <We're done. laughs> Here are the forest where we just taking wood there. Uh...